Uh, hi, hello. Um, welcome back to another session of uh, special, e special effects for game and entertainment. And today we are going to work in a couple of tutorials about this concept of how transfer one animation from a library of animations to another character or from, you know, how to manage all different animations within Unreal. So, uh, first of all, uh, we can have a look at the PowerPoint. It might be always a good idea. We are going to work with Mixamo, but don't worry so much. We'll, we'll go to that later. Okay. So kind of more important is to understand how uh, the different elements related to animation are uh, interacting within the Unreal environment. And one thing uh, which is very important is to be able to differentiate between the skeleton, the mess, the animation and physics. If you, uh, if you see on this diagram, everything is part of the blueprint. Blueprint are these blue ones, okay? And then the different colors are indicating the, the, the kind of uh, uh, data structure that we have. The skeleton is going to be just a hierarchy different bones, different connections that are obviously uh, part of a skeleton. And then the mess is going to be this wire, uh, wire of uh, this, this mess of uh, this character you have designed, okay, previously. And uh, many different messes can share the same skeleton. That's also something that is very obvious. Animation, it's going to be just, if you think about that, a list of uh, these different skeleton assets during time. So the position of these skeleton assets change. Therefore, the animation change. That is what basically we have when we do motion capture. It's just um, a collection, a list of these, uh, you know, points, these bones and these uh, vectors in time. And then we, we need uh, a physics system. When we do things more complicated, like you know, fur or uh, clothes or or hair or any other uh, system of particles that is associated to that character, so we will need physics as well. But we are not going to work with that today. So so far today, we are going to do these two different exercises. The first one will be. Uh, when uh, seeing how animations are managed, when two characters have the same mess and the same skeleton. Uh, then later we'll do this other case where two characters have different mess and a skeleton, okay, different skeleton as well. At this point, you should um, you should have already worked probably more than uh, here in my case with this uh, fake scenario, with this furniture, low poly, and these characters, okay, the ones that we called the other day, Darren and, and, and Jason, and you should have been already uh, customizing these, these different elements in the scenario, lights, colors, textures, and to make this a little more uh, realistic if possible, incorporating other assets from other projects or whatever. So, uh, these uh, these characters are ready already to perform different animations. Uh, if you remember, with the other day we we talk about some of the animations when you select the character. You have here this uh, this panel, this animation panel, and uh, you have the one that is uh, selected by default uh, associated to that blueprint, and then we have the this option which is animation assets which would include all the ones that we have already uh, imported, okay? If you need to import more animations, uh, one way to do it is through uh, uh, through the Epic engine here to this uh, animation starter pack, and you just select download, says open on Epic, okay? And then later you have to say add to project, and you select the project we are working in, which is this one, okay? So, uh, well, I already imported that before, so you were successfully importing the animations. It should be quite straightforward to change that. 
as I say, you just select this animation asset, and then later here in Browse, you should have the collection of the different animations that we have imported. You just select one. There is no one that is related to this particular thing of being sit down. So I'm going to just select that. Okay, and I'm going to also select another death and I see that you cannot find the death here and why is that? well it is very easy to explain it's because uh, animations by before are associated to a, a, a blueprint okay so in this particular case the blueprint is this one so you know, instead of a mess what you would is probably use the, the blueprint okay because the blueprint will include everything okay in this uh, uh, encapsulated in the blueprint so that 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 way instead of using this i will use this one nobody will not not the difference okay so if you go to animations if i manage to find that animations blueprint or use animation asset okay so animation assets, I can select, for example, Death 2. There it is. Uh, can I find that? Okay, so Death 3, for example. So that way I'm, I'm playing two different animations Death. Okay. Although they look very similar. Okay.